All right, so hey, this is a rehearsal. Um, <laughs> this is a rehearsal for one of our upcoming videos uh, on a new website launching in a couple of weeks. This is a segment called The Hero Hairline. Uh, so we're gonna do a rehearsal for the actual footage we're gonna shoot. We're being transparent about that. So what we're doing right now is we've got this client wig that's just been completed in terms of construction. And what that means is obviously it has been cut screen accurately. It has a primary cut. It's a short wig. It's from uh, the Academy with Many Umbrellas. The numeral not not four, not six, but somewhere in between. Uh, <laughs> so there's your copyright safe uh, protocol. So anyway, so as we always say, you can't see the final work until we get it on the client's storage block, which will also be transferred uh, uh, into the case when we deliver it, so that's theirs. Um, right now it's on the Hero Hairline and Hair Directional Growth Pattern Plotting Blueprint. So we're gonna see what kind of detail we're working with. You're gonna pull it off, you're gonna put it over there? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So this is HG Synthetic through the crown and into the temples, followed by human hair, followed by mohair, mm -hmm. which is how you get all those little baby hairs. All right, so here we go. <laughs> wow, that is a soft hairline. My goodness. Yeah, that looks great. So as this is the rehearsal, uh, so what we'll do is we'll cut there as Aaron affixes the pin set. Um, and then we'll move this big light out of the way and then I'll sweep around, but I'll sweep around for the sake of argument over here right now. I'm gonna get in here on this guy. What's the actor's name on this? Do we know? Uh, Offhand? Adrian Gallagher. Adrian Gallagher. Okay, well, this is a hero hairline. This is what sets us apart from, frankly, any major wig studio in the world, including London. Uh, we've worked very hard over five years to perfect this. And this is a better hairline than you'll see in most future film and television wigs. Not all, but frankly, most. And we're trying to change that. Sorry, guys. Uh, but cosplayers get it first. Hey, you're getting better wigs than the movie wigs, kids. Here we go, and, and cool, this is cool. Check out the Widow's Peak. You really did a great job. I'm just looking at this here. Um, he's got this signature little notch in here. So it's a screen accurate. We call this, we call the hero hairlines faithfully, they're faithfully reproduced hairline of the original actor or source reference. And we go through reams of background stuff, red carpet, you name it, just to get a high res version um, image of the hairline. Um, even if, if the character is wigged, we do the same thing. Um, but yeah, this is incredible. showing off my parts. Yeah, your part, <laughs> your part's pretty amazing. Wow, that's really great, and that's and that's the illusion. You know, you have to be able to show scalp, and it does go right down to the scalp. Um, the HD film lace that you see here—the only reason you're seeing it is because it's sticking out from the build block, but it disappears up to one foot to the naked eye mm -hmm. uh, before you even. I'm standing, yeah, one foot. Um, oh, on your on your pinky, yeah, there you go. So, uh, and we leave a one and a half to two inch forehead lace on all our wigs. So any picture or video that you see of a wig, it's got a huge forehead lace and we do that to extend the lifespan of the wig because it's the finest silk there is. So over time, you can imagine this will start to fray. So every six months, you start to give it a little millimeter trim, a little millimeter trim. And so it extends over the years. And by the time it starts getting up into here and we feel it's getting a little too close to the hairline, what do we do? Well, for lifetime of the wig, we will cut that front off and refront it for you for free. For free. Uh, that is service only we provide. It's a, it's a bit of a hit. Aaron makes about $3,000 to refront a wig in film and TV. Uh, but we do it for free for you guys because you tag us in all your posts yeah. and you say official you say, uh, what do they say? Custom wig, hand fabricated and crea uh, created. And <laughs> yeah, there's styled. too many words. Hand fabricated and, and styled, styled by it. Hero Hair. And that is why you get all the service. That's all you ever have to do is tag us. But it is, you know, it's important. That's how we get our word out. And mm -hmm. we cross promote them, our clients on our pages. And that's how it works, kids. And this is all, let me show you this. You get a lot more than that, frankly, but that's yeah. that's like a perk. It's yeah. one of the perks you get. Yeah, so much. Aside from um, being able to deal with this lovely young lady. <laughs> Um, Gosh, so that's a good hair. This is all, My hump voice is going to That's high. it all slicked back. Slicked back, right. Obviously, we lift it up so it, like, it's growing right out of the scalp. Right out of the scalp, yeah. Yeah. So that's, this is, this is a 
a hyper-realistic human hairline. And when I say human, I mean human in appearance. It does not cross into the dreaded uncanny valley. Mm -hmm. And frankly, for those cosplayers, and we've said it since day one, who are spending thousands of hours and thousands of dollars and God, blood, sweat, and tears bringing their heroes to life with armor, with leather work, with everything else. I mean, as far as the crown goes, the wig, this completes the illusion. Yeah. Yep. You can't, you can't go this close with any other wig company. I'm just going to say it. I want to see. You can't. You can't go this close. Yeah, nice. You can't go this close. Really nice. and we've all, all, Show actually. me a picture with one other <laughs> custom wig company that goes this close on earth, and I will give you $100. <laughs> or at least a hero hair button. Yeah, and we've... We've had a fitting with this client already, so Alrighty. this is all the. Um, we went back in and did a little bit more density work mm -hmm. and a little bit more. Um, yeah, it went we to the. Yeah, we shipped it to the to we, the clients yeah. for fitting. They said we do fittings yeah. because you guys are usually doing the head wraps on your own, so it helps us um, find any inconsistencies between your wrap and the hairline plotting, and so we can go back in and detail it based on that. Yeah. We get to see volumes, we get to see density. We take a whole new round of pictures with rulers, and, yep. and uh, this is a really successful fitting, actually. Yeah, it was great. It was really, really close. I only had to go in and, and detail this a little bit more, yeah. give it a little bit more density, and bring this up a little bit, and I see where I want to put like three more hairs right there. Yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah. Mo? And this is yeah. yeah, and this is the sideburns. This will be the sideburns. Right. Sideburns Give it a little twist. Like this. Like this. Right, because they're wispy. Yeah. So we're gonna trim those out. Yep. There you go, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, yeah, this is all human hair. The part is all human hair, mm -hmm. and we started the human hair about here on this one. Right. Um, the sides and of the back and the nape are also all human hair because right. it sits a lot softer right. when For the it's reveal. short like that. Because it's going to be a short wig. It's going to be yeah. effectively like the short men's wig. Yeah. Crazy. Um, cool. So, yeah. Yeah. That's really great. Color is ex extraordinary. Yes. How many colors in this wig? Um, there, there's like probably seven shades of medium brown to dark brown. Yeah. And a, like just a little bit, I just like, threw a couple of dark, really dark mohairs in there, but it's mostly a, like a brown. And there's brown a couple hair. of blonde, like blonde or browns he's too. Got some like high, yeah, he's had a couple, in, in all his reference, you see a couple of swatches that always kind of pop out. Yeah. yeah. So I did that so that in the camera, in any, it'll photograph perfectly in any light. Right. You get all the, right. All the detail. All the detail, yeah. Um, goodness. Great job. All right, so we'll see this on the website soon. You'll see the final wig soon, um, and uh, we'll talk about that more. But here's, a, yeah, this is a preview of some of the footage we're going to take uh, for the Hero Hairline video coming soon to the website. I love this. He's got an a he's got an asymmetrical hairline. It is, yeah. It's like Michael, Michael J. Fox, except Michael J. Fox is on the slope to this way. Yeah, the, his, this comes a little more forward, forward on him. Yeah, so it's, it's, not, it's not even Steven. Which is really, interestingly enough, I've been seeing this hairline on me a lot of men, men. lately have you? yeah it's, it's pretty come making a comeback it's it's or they're just all wearing their hair back now and we can see <laughs> but it's a common male hairline pattern. yeah yeah i've got it all right thank you for your time oh thank you all right we'll see you guys later
I always try and forget this. <laughs> All right, so I still can't remember what we named this wig. Crap, let me look. Do we have a... All right, so for those who've been watching the progress on this, this is, the, the character is not the numeral six, it's not the numeral four, it's somewhere in between from the Academy that has many umbrellas. You know the actor's name, though, do you not? Uh, Adrian. Adrian G, right? Anyway, you figure it out while I'm doing this. So this is the, uh, you know, we show this whenever we can. This is the client's build block with all of our custom hair directional growth pattern plotting, blueprinting so the hair is all directed into the style and ventilated into the direction that it helps the style maintain uh, a sturdy state so you're not having to fight it. And this is all the hero hairline. It's all the screen accurate, faithfully reproduced hairline of the original actor. And here's the finished wig. This is for Rebecca. For Rebecca. Um, little Lionheart. Cosplay. Little Lionheart cosplay. And uh, yeah, really nice job on this. This will go all the way down to the scalp. Rebecca's prep beneath the scalp will actually be split. Mm -hmm. So you'll have natural scalp at the bottom. Uh, but. Oh, we, we called him the fifth umbrella student. The fifth umbrella student. <laughs> Rock on. Okay, well, here he is, guys. And um, he's right now in, he just got product and sprayed, so he's setting, so he's got his pins set in there, but we'll take those out for photography, keep them in for shipping. And Rebecca is a master wig wearer. That's right. And knows this character. Oh, oh that's so good. Nice. <laughs> we both reacted at the same time. She's, she's the Wiesmann. <laughs> Okay, very, very happy with this, uh, this reproduction wig. Uh, and the premiere is coming up in a day or two, so we're going to get this out to Rebecca. Here, give me a zoom in on, on my part. Yeah, let's show that part. That's a beautiful part. It goes all the way back yeah. here. Yeah, it does. Uh, and, that, and that's why it was plotted over here as such. And you and... Uh, me. You, you did the ventilation on this. Wow, congratulations, really nice. Um, right down to the, the weird sideburn hair. Mm -hmm. um, really, really well done. Yeah, and this is HD film lace, which means it disappears uh, at one foot to the naked eye. It's, it's the best lace that there is. Uh, we'll leave about a one and a half, two inch forehead film lace. All our wigs have them, which extends the lifespan of the wig. Nice job. How many colors? A lot. Oh my gosh. So many colors. I would say this one has like five or six. Five or it's six. It's like mostly browns. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, Caitlin Jaime did the primary cut on this. Congratulations, Caitlin. Happy birthday, by the way. Mm -hmm. And yeah, pics coming soon to the website. On the all new website. But uh, if you're bored looking at that, here's, <laughs> here's Rebecca's custom carrying case and storage case. Uh, we do this for every wig that we have. It's hard shell. This is how we transport wigs to set for feature film and television. You want to give that an open. It's color coded to the character's school uniform. And it has a stabilization central peg, like a record sleeve. It's further stabilized inside. Um, so it arrives screen accurate in state. We'll go ahead and give this a, a shroud and protective stuff that we do. Um, but yeah, there you go. Like a good pop tune, Three minutes and 37 seconds. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. It's made with unicorn hair. Down to the dent.